All right, for part B, we have uh, x squared minus 2x minus 4y uh, minus 7. So uh, the, term that, uh, the terms that I want to complete the square uh, are the first two. This time we have x raised to the power of 2 and not y. So we go back to the standard uh, equation of a parabola table and, and see what we're going to grab out of this. Well, first of all, uh, since x raised to the power of 2, so we have this uh, form where the major axis is vertical, okay? And, and for that purpose, we have the direct rex uh, coming with the formula uh, y equals k minus p, okay? And the location of the vertex is h and k again, okay, h and k. Uh, let's clean this up, mm, okay? A, and, and for the vertical axis k's, uh, uh, the location of the focus is h uh, and k plus p, okay, h and k plus p. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the equation in this nice form, x minus h quantity squared, 4p, y minus k, and all I'm going to do is just grab h, k, and p out of that, and then uh, try to find focus direct rex in, in the vertex. All right, let's get into the business. I am going to uh, work with x squared minus 2x, uh, and my goal is uh, the completion, the square, okay? So here we go. Uh, I'm going to get half of this coefficient added to x. And I raise it to the power of 2, so it's a perfect square. When you expand this out, what do you have? x squared minus 2x plus 1. But I don't have plus 1, so I have to sort of like, uh, compensate that. Here we go. Okay? So in other words, this term here uh, can be written as x minus 1 quantity squared minus 1. Okay, I still have 4y minus 7. Okay, let's simplify this. Minus 4y minus 8 equals a 0. Okay, so uh, remember that uh, x term should be in one side of the equation and y term should, should be in the other side of the equation. So why don't we add uh, 4y plus 8 uh, to the to the both sides of the equation to get x minus 1 quantity squared equals 4y plus 8, okay? And remember that I have to factor 4 out on the right-hand side because that's what the standard form rules, right? So this is y minus uh, 2, all right? Uh, so I'm going to rewrite this uh, uh, with the form that we had earlier, so x minus uh, 1 quantity squared equals 4 times 1 times y minus minus 2. So this, this is the exact same form uh, we had uh, earlier here, okay? So uh, x minus h quantity squared, 4p, y minus k. So, uh, so, so now this way I can grab h, p, and k respectively out of this equation. So here we go, h equals negative 1, p equals 1, and k equals negative 2. Okay? And in fact, h is just 1, right? Because x minus uh, uh, h, so I should correct this, so this should be 1. All right, that sounds good. So what I'm going to do next is to uh, write down the coordinates of uh, its vertex focus, and I should also write the equation uh, of the direct rex, okay? There we go. Vertex comes with the coordinate h and k, so uh, here we go, I'm going to write it as like 1 and negative 2, okay? Let's look at the coordinate of the focus, so uh, since p equals 1, uh, the, the distance between the vertex and the focus is 1. So uh, h, k plus p, okay? So h, k plus p, uh, here we go. I'm gonna go back here. h is one, k plus p equals uh, negative two plus one. So one and negative one, which is the location of the focus. And the directrix is, is coming uh, with the formula h, uh, sorry, y equals uh, k minus p, okay? y equals uh, k minus p. Here we go. I'm going to go back and, and write down k minus p, y equals k minus p, y equals k minus p. Okay, so, so at the end of the day, this is y equals negative 3 horizontal line. Okay, so uh, here the major axis is 
vertical. So we have all this like numbers uh, uh, found. Uh, go ahead now and then uh, please graph this uh, parabola and verify that, uh, verify these uh, findings in your graph. And you can pause the video anytime and you can use the TA84 right now. Uh, and, and let me just show you what I got here. Okay, so uh, essentially the vertex is uh, located right here. Okay, one and negative two. That's that's the these are the coordinates for that. Okay, so it's right here. And then you have uh, let's see the focus. So I'm just put a hypothetical arrow here. <laughs> okay, so one and negative one is the focus. And here is here is the directrix uh, as you see y equals negative three. And remember that p is the distance from the focus to vertex, and in our case, uh, p was uh, 1. So here we go. So this distance here, let me just clean this up. Uh, this distance here, uh, this distance here is 1 unit, as well as this distance, that's also 1 unit. Okay? So uh, from the directrix to vertex, vertex to focus, they're all like uh, one units and P is positive one in this case that means we're going up in this direction okay so generally sign with P uh, refers to uh, the direction that you should uh, go from let's say vert from vertex to focus all right all right this is already a long video so I'm gonna finish it right here but please have this graph with your TA84 and please verify your findings at the end so that uh, if you just make a sign uh, error or something else, uh, you may uh, find co something completely different from what it is originally. Uh, so make sure you have this your reality check by graphing. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.